What's up YouTube and welcome back to another review. Today we're going to take a look at the Ichiban Kuji back to the film prize F cooler. This figure is by far the most requested and rightfully so because if you are in Japan you'll know that on the shelves at this current time you're not going to find this thing for less than $200 and it's even higher than that online. I apologize for taking so long to unbox this thing but here we are we're going to take a look at it compare it to a couple of other figures as always and you guys are going to let me know what you think let's get started Alright, so let's go ahead and do a size comparison. Put a couple of figures next to him. Here we can see him standing next to the Jiren. And next we got him standing next to Ultimate Variations Broly. And there he is standing next to the Omega Shenron. And just for good measure, here he is standing next to the Strong Chains. Goku. All right, folks, now let's get a closer look. All right. After opening this thing, I know what everybody's talking about now and why everybody wants this figure. Because it is nice. I'm um, trying to figure out the words to say to describe this thing. But it seems that he's just, he's just all like well-rounded. You know, what I try to do is immediately try to find the flaws in a figure. Uh, it seems like it's probably gonna be a little more difficult for this one, but let's start at the top. So if you take a look at the, his, uh, his helmet here, if you look close, you can see that it has something that's very similar to one of the other uh, figures that I recently reviewed, the trunks, uh, the super trunks. It's uh, it's not smooth, it's kind of grainy, and almost like it has uh, a little bit of battle damage, but not too obvious. I actually like that. Um, aspect of these figures lately because it doesn't look like it's just you know cookie cutter punched out um of a mold and that's the uh, trunks that i was talking about specifically but we'll take a look at the paint as well around here and it's a really nice blue nice uh shine to it Then when we look at the face, let's see if we can get a little bit brighter. There we go. If you look at the face, eyes, mm. the red is nice and the, uh, the etchings here around his face and his mask, they're shaded in the crevices and that's really cool. There's a lot of detail in the uh, in the etchings here on the side of the helmet, where his ears go. And uh, let's take a look at his body armor. So even his body armor, you notice that it's like um, a little bit grainy, which is really nice. You can tell where the armor is supposed to separate, but it does not. It is not extremely obvious that there's um, separations. And from the gray to the dark gray, there's a nice transition in color. 
So that's good. All right. So for the purple on his body, it's a nice solid purple. It's not shaded or anything like that, but I don't think it needs to be. The spikes that come off his back are nice. They don't look like they're loose or wiggly or anything. And the color stays true all the way through his tail. A little bit of a um, separation right here. A little bit understandable. Maybe they could have um, molded this a little bit better to where it's like merges but nothing to really complain about and then the armor at the end of the the tail is nice it's got a little bit of shading and granulated features on it as well now if you look on his uh his skin and his muscle tone it's really nice he's got every uh every now and then he's got a few veins that are kind of popping out here um on his hand where his fist is balled up and on his abs there. Really nice shading here in the crevices of his uh, muscles on his legs. So a nice darker transition. So on the body, really the only transition in color is around the abs here and the muscle tone in the legs, which is nice. A little bit on his arms, not too much. It's just a, a kind of like a subtle hint, and that's good. And the really nice blue again here on his legs, or on the leg armor. His feet have some shading too. And let's go around the back. Same thing around the back. Everything looks pretty nice. Oh, there's not too much that I can really judge from this other than it's a, it's well it's well put together. It's a really nice figure. Here's the stamp on the back of the right leg. In case you guys are looking for it for any uh, potential bootlegs. And as you can see, this one has a stand. It has a foot stand. It's clear. I like the clear foot stands. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't really get in the way of of the figure itself. Let's look at the bottom of the feet, and got some solid black on the bottom of the feet here. But what I noticed with this figure is this foot stand is really, really um, molded nicely to the foot. And we'll do the test. I'll pop it off. And this figure stands very well, actually, without the stand, without the foot stand. And this table is not like really flat, I guess you should say, but he stands really well without that foot stand. And here I will uh, take a look at the, the tail. You can pull the tail off here and again, just like the spikes on that Omega Shenron, they have notches where it fits in perfectly. So that works out well. And he's got some creases here on the tail where it, where it bends, make it look more realistic. So that's cool. I like this thing. It's a really nice figure. I can see why so many people wanted this thing and so many people wanted me to review it. But I'll tell you what, man. I mean, you really got to look at it for yourself. But this is one of the best molds that I've seen for a Dragon Ball figure. It's pretty heavy, too. Not too heavy, but it's pretty heavy. It's tall. And uh, it stands really well. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and measure it now. All right. 
from the table to the top of his spikes here or horns is about it's close to 13 and a half inches yeah just about 13 and a half inches maybe a little bit under so good size really good size figure all right folks so there it is there's your review of the back to the film cooler I have a feeling that this figure is going to be pretty popular for a really long time. What I'm afraid of is the price is just going to keep going up. So I would suggest right now, if you guys really like this figure, you jump on it and get it wherever you can. I know there's a lot of them that are being sold online. I'm going to tell you right now, I hardly see them out here on the shelves here in Japan as of lately. I've seen a few of them and I've, I've driven all the way up north lately and out of a 12 hour drive i think i've only seen two or three of them and i guarantee you none of them were under 200 dollars. so that's our review it's a really nice figure it's i think it's pretty obvious this is going to be a 10 out of 10 for me i just can't find a flaw and i think i was lucky enough to get one of the um one of the good ones that don't have any in any real paint flaws or or um structural flaws on it so I'm thankful for that. If you guys have any questions about this specific figure, please let me know. If you like the video, like it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and tell all your friends about it. So thank you guys for supporting. As always, that's it for me today. I'll see you guys next time.